Hi everybody, this is Miss Katie Scott. I am going to be your reading and social studies teacher this year. And I am Miss Grace Luker and I will be teaching you math and science. And we would just like to welcome you to fifth grade. We are actually gonna take you on a tour of both of our classrooms and we're gonna start off in my room. I am down the fifth grade hallway on the first door on the left. And this is my classroom. As you can see, we're very colorful and we're rock star themed in here. And um, I do want you to know that we are going to be spaced out um, and we're going to practice social distancing. And so now we're going to go look at Miss Katie's room. Um, this is my classroom. Um, I kind of have a patriotic theme going on since I teach social studies, which is a lot of history. Um, and like Miss Luker said, we are going to social distance as much as possible, depending on how many students are in a room any given day. My room is not 100% done, but it will be by our start date. So I would like to share a little bit about myself. Um, of course, I'm gonna be teaching you math and science this year. Um, but so that you know where I grew up, I went to school and I was born and raised in Martin and I graduated from the University of Tennessee at Martin there. Currently, I am back in school obtaining my master's degree from the University of Tennessee at Martin so that I can just better my practices as your teacher. And some of my favorite things include reading. I have done a lot of reading this summer, gardening and spending time with my friends and family. I am married to Brett, who is the Henderson County Game Warden, and we live in Lexington with the sassiest dog ever, and her name is Annie. I am so excited, and I can't wait to meet you guys. Um, and my name is Katie Scott. I will be teaching you English language arts, which is reading and writing, and social studies this year. Um, I was born and raised in Chester County, grew up here, graduated from Chester County High School, um, and went to Free Hardman University, go Lions, and currently I'm working on obtaining my master's degree in curriculum and instruction from the University of Alabama. Some of my favorite things include reading, like Miss Luker said, I have read a lot of books this summer, um, watching Disney Plus, and cheering on the Alabama Crimson Tide, Girl Tide. I have the cutest dog in the world, even though my mama says this picture makes him look like he is crazy. It's just because of the flash named Henry, who you are going to hear so much about. I love telling Henry stories. So we wanted to include um, several of the books that we have loved and enjoyed reading in the past. And so as you can see, me and Miss Katie have put a few of those on there. Yes, um, and both of us, we're reading all the time. We're reading children's books all the time. We always have um, different stories to tell from books that we've read and this goes to show that just because you teach math does not mean that reading is not important. Okay, two truths and a lie. We want to put this little fun game in here and we will tell you the answer on the first day of school. So two of these things are true and one of them is a lie. So your job is to figure out which ones are true and which one is a lie. So the first one is together we've taught 300 students. Second one, we both love Diet Coke. And the third one, both of our mothers are educators. So see if you can figure out which one's a lie by the first day of school. We wanna talk about a few classroom routines that we know um, that each of our classes are gonna be experiencing. And the first one is that we use Nikki folders, not binders. These are the folders that students usually come home with that have stay at home or bring back to school. And we just use those because it's a little bit easier than keeping up with a binder. We also are gonna have a graded paper folder that we try to send home every Tuesday. And the procedures for that will be posted in the folder and you can look at that when the time comes. We also use interactive notebooks in all four subjects. So that was one of the reasons that that was on the supply list. And the interactive notebooks are just a personalized textbook for each class. We also make our own flashcards in social studies and science that students are able to use for their vocabulary test. And we also want to 
point out that we are really recommending that you bring your own personal water bottle to school instead of using the water fountain right now. And so we just wanted you to know that that was an option and that you can bring a water bottle in a clear um, container or one of the harvest cups, you know, something like that to hold your water in. Um, some rules that we have, we use a behavior log. It's on a clipboard. Um, and when somebody does something that we don't approve of or something that is not right, they have to go sign the clipboard and that results in a loss of a dojo point. Um, if you don't have to sign the board that day, you can earn two dojo points and then at the end of every month we turn in dojo points and parents, we will send home a dojo access sheet on the first day of school so that you're able to see student behaviors and communicate with us back and forth. Um, sometimes excessive loss of dojo points results in silent lunch. Um, some misbehavior, depending on the severity of the situation, result in immediate loss of recess or being sent to the office. Something else that we are not considering a rule but we are strongly encouraging everyone to do is wear masks. Um, we both have face shields and masks to wear in the classroom, especially when working in small groups. We do a lot of small group work in reading and in math and it is just going to be the best practice for all of us if everybody is able to wear a mask. We understand if you're not comfortable with this. However, we are going to encourage it. We would also like to point out that each student is going to be assigned an individual Chromebook that they will use throughout the year. This is, um, our classrooms both are equipped with a classroom set of computers and my homeroom will keep theirs throughout the day and Katie's homeroom will keep theirs throughout the day. That way two students are not sharing computers. We do want to point out that these will not be sent home. Um, however, they will be cleaned you know, um, after each day and students won't be sharing them. We're going to be using these computers for Google Classroom, iReady, Freckle, Padlet, Poplet, Khan Academy, just to do some different activities in class. Um, this is our contact information. Our email addresses are on here. You can also find these on the school website. It's just our names and then at ChesterCountySchools.org. Um, the school phone number is listed here. And if you have not already joined our class Facebook group, this is the name, CCMS Luker and Scott 2020 to 2021. Um, we appreciate you listening to this and we will make it through this unique school year with the support of each other. Yes, and we look forward to seeing you on our start date. Thank you.